this project start from questions of uh, why, how, what, who, when, where about science. So uh, in the email, we discussed the what part. Uh, I recommended the review of a history of science and the review of uh, philosophy of science. And uh, I think our meeting is focused on how and the why part. And so first, I would emphasize that we need to draw a distinction uh, between science and the philosophy and the religion. And that's kind of like a common sense. And also important, we need to draw distinction between, uh, let me move this away. We need to draw a distinction between science and pseudoscience because both publish information in websites, books, texts, journals, periodicals, etc. And both use scientific concepts and terminology. So it is very important that we always keep a guard to make sure that we're working on this area instead of slipping into that area. So the third question I asked in my email was, how do you, dis how do you distinguish science from just self-entertainment? So, and we have this guy, Karl Popper, promoted the idea and accepted by the almost all scientific community the falsifiability as the criteria. So I want to talk about uh, how how can we uh, how can we insist in doing real science instead of going back to philosophy. And also, we need to be always open-minded, uh, not so sure, not so uh, made up of our minds. So here, there's a guide, a rough guide for sporting bad science. And you can see there are 12 categories here that a lot of us, uh, Intentional, uh, unintentionally uh, falling into one of these categories and uh, still consider ourselves a, do a scientist. So that's uh, my alarm. So reviewing uh, who, are the, uh, who are the famous or acknowledged scientists, and here is a small collection of them and uh, many of them you can recognize. And uh, these are the names uh, from, from 2700 BC all the way uh, to nowadays. So these are the examples of what, when we talk about the science, and we need to also focus on the essence inside of the core of the scientific, the, sci the concept of science. Uh, f first, uh, starting from the idea of a hypothesis at the age of uh, Scorates and Plato. And then this gentleman emphasized the empirical data and the reproducibility. And uh, you all know Francis Bacon emphasized the empiricism uh, and uh, promoted the uh, set up the tone for the scientific method. And the, the term scientist was coined by him, uh, William William. So uh, here we got a Newton here who promoted uh, or established the four rules, uh, for four basic rules, uh, requisite cause or parsimony, first one, parallel experience or universality, second one. Essence matters or essentiality, third one. Truth unless uh, falsification or truth equals hypothesis on duty. 
So, and then science grows into huge tree of a lot of a lot of branches. And you can see this group uh, is what we call natural science. And second group here is what we call social science. And the third group here is what we call logic, uh, no, 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 formal science. Okay, so I put the cybernetics uh, at the end of this line. So from logic, mathematics, all the way down to linguistics and cybernetics. So three groups, and coming back to the concept, the core of the concept itself, the san chia means knowledge, to know, to learn, and, and we do carry uh, a number of assumptions of when, when we talk about the science. We need evidence-based system knowledge uh, to be developed. Uh, we do research, we do learning, we do experimenting, we do experiencing by ourselves. We blend logic with imagination, provide explanation and prediction, and we have new dance for rules, we have Einstein correct Newton's last rule and supported by Popper and the idea of hypothesis. And we have Maturana suggest the four step cycling process. I will, I will draw it later. So, so at the core of what we call this thing science, uh, Popper says that's uh, problem situation one and you, when, you, when you've got a problem situation one, uh, you got a tentative theory, you promote your tentative theory, and you do your uh, error elimination, and then you do your, uh, you, you, you have your uh, second uh, uh, problem situation. So this goes on and on in a circle. And Maturana, uh, reworked this framework more clearly and what he says is you describe the first the a phenomena called phenomena one and then you do uh, explanatory hypothesis as your second step and you derive a phenomena two from your theory and then you observe to test it. So, so this circle, uh, I think he listed this in he, uh, the, the book, um, The Tree of Knowledge. Uh, he highlighted that it does not rely on reality really. So, so hypothesis is something we all can have. So this circle is uh, commonly accepted a more detailed circle of science. Uh, if you Google uh, the image about what is science, you frequently will get this cycle. You make an observation, you think of interesting questions, you formulate your hypothesis, you develop a testable, testable predictions, and you gather data to test your predictions, and you can go on and on here to refine. Sorry, my mouse is not... Uh, uh, my mouse needs to be updated. Let me use this one. Yeah. Uh, mm, so anyway, it's a circular process that defines science and it's widely accepted. Now, this is what I call the image of a judgmental experimentation. Uh, you, you do your observation either to falsify or support your hypothesis. This is the Einstein's uh, idea about uh, the curving light because the curving space. So, so based on this experiment or based on this observation, uh, he built up our understanding about the space in this kind of image. Uh, i.e. The, the, the curving light. That's an example. So, uh, and we have this thing called the cybernetics. What's the relationship between cybernetics and the science? Uh, previously I put it in the uh, 
in the, the formal science category. But here, uh, we can have a very simple uh, perception. It's uh, when we talk about the science, we always talk about some kind of uh, a natural law that we discover. And uh, also always in the format of one variable equals a function of uh, a number of other variables. So uh, it becomes a causality from A to B. So it's pretty straightforward. But in cybernetics, the difference is you have a circle going back to A. So A causes B, causes C, and then causes A, or A, B, A, or A to A to itself. So the difference is that you've got a cycling going on here. So they are all potatoes. It's just a difference is, is straightforward or circular. So, so I, I can say that they are actually the same same thing is just to have this new feature. So uh, second order science uh, is symbolically published in this journal. You all know that actually it's the reason to bring this group together. Uh, six leading papers, 10 authors, 30 commentary papers. Uh, I'm here one of them. But since I involved in this project, <coughs> I kept thinking questions, uh, and uh, perhaps I think we can have some better term than second order. So uh, the essence of a second order science, in my understanding, is uh, Stuart added this dimension, uh, amount of attention paid to the observer to the previous conception of science. So sort of uh, enlarged into a new territory. But uh, observing, I think, is not, ob is not possible without the thinking and the without the action. So I'm proposing the idea that you are not just an observer. You are observer, thinker, actor. So I call it OTA, O-T-A. So you are an OTA. And anyone is an author. Everyone is an author. And we are all authors, uh, because we want to use that concept later. Uh, so if you are an author, you are participating in the world to build our reality. So here is the simple, uh, simple summary of my conception is, when you have your first version science, you're talking about A causes B. When you have your first version of cybernetics, you're talking about a system in which you have a circular causalities. And uh, in the second version of science, you included OTA, observer, thinker, actor, not just observer. I want to emphasize. Uh, the same thing here, when you're talking about the second order cybernetics, you focused on auto and the system being act on, not just observed. So that's my opening.